We're going to be looking at distribution and division. Um, so before we start this, actually, I think we need a little reminder of something around fractions. So let's just check we can all do this. I want to check 1 fifth multiplied by 6. We know that when we multiply, okay, first of all, we know that 6 is just can be written as 6 over 1, right? And then hopefully you remember back to multiplying fractions. It was the simplest of things. You just multiply the numerators and you multiply the denominators. So what you get here is 1 times 6. And at the bottom you get 5 times 1. And 1 times 6 is 6. And 5 times 1 is 5. And this is the thing that the bits I really want you to focus on is that this and this are the same. In other words, 1 fifth multiplied by 6 is just the same as 6 over 5. And we can write 6 over 5 as 1 fifth multiplied by 6, right? So, for example, if I ask you, right, what is 1 quarter multiplied by 3, that is just going to be exactly the same as 3 over 4. And if I say B over A, you should be able to also write that as 1 over A multiplied by B. So that's just some fraction ideas that you want to have exactly straight in your head. 1 fifth of 6, right? Really all it's saying is take 1 fifth of 6. It's going to be exactly the same as saying take 6 and divide it into 5 pieces, right? Because taking one fifth of something is just dividing it into five pieces, right? So one fifth of six is take six and divide it into five pieces. One quarter of three is saying take three and divide it into four pieces, right? Little fraction revision. Now we can get on with what we want to get on with. Okay, so this one becomes, what we have here is this thing over three. So it becomes one third of that thing. Now, we've just been working with this, so we know that multiplication distributes over addition. So we've got to do 1 third times 3x and 1 third times 9. So 1 third times 3x plus 1 third times 9. And so this becomes 3x over 3, and this one becomes 9 over 3. Now we know with fractions, what we divide or multiply the bottom by, we must do the same thing to the top. So let's divide each of these by 3 and we get 1x over 1 which is just x and again here we can divide each by 3 and we will get 3 over 1 which is 3. So really all this is is a case of the distributive law right? This just means a third of 3x plus 9 so we're going to get a third of 3x which is 3x over 3 and a third of 9 which is 9 over 3. So we can actually do this a little more quickly if we just think okay this is a third of 3x which is 3x over 3 and a third of 9 which is 9 over 3 right so we can we don't have to go through all these steps here if we have them in our head right this is a third of 3x plus 9 so we're distributing it'll be a third of 3x plus a third of 9 and then we cancel those down using our fraction laws to get x plus 3. Okay, before we continue, um, I just want us to do a quick reminder of exponents because we're going to need them, right? So what if we have something like this, y squared over y? What does that mean? Well, let's remember what exponents means. y squared means y times y, right? And at the bottom, you've just got a y. And so the y's cancel, and you're just left with y. Here, you've got y cubed, which means y times y times y. And at the bottom, just a y. Cancel, and you're left with y squared. Here, you've got five y's, right? Multiply it together. So it's five of them. And at the bottom, two. So cancel, and you're left with y cubed, right? Now, over time, you want to get faster at this, right? You want to be able to see 
five y's here, two y's there, so how many is going to be left when you start cancelling out? It's going to be 5 minus 2, which gives you 3. But until you can see that easily, just do it like this so that you get a very strong idea of what your exponents mean. Okay, so now I can do a more complicated example like this, 6y cubed plus 4y over 2y, right? This is going to be this thing into all of that, and so we're going to distribute, right? Um, and I'm going to short circuit it a bit. I'm going to say here, look, that is 6y cubed over 2y, and this is going to be 4y over 2y. Okay. Simplifying down here, what does 6y cubed mean? It's 6y, y, y, right? And then it's over a 2y. And then what do I have here? I've got a 4y over a 2y. Cancelling. y cancels with a y. And the 2 goes into the 6 3 times. So I've got a 3y squared here. 4 goes into 2 twice. And these y's cancel with each other. So I've got 2 over 1, which is just 2. Okay, here are two I want you to try for yourself. Pause the video now and do them. They're in your key concepts book. Okay, let's see how this works. Uh, this one here, we are going to be saying that. Distribute. So we're going to have 2x over 2 plus 1 over 2. The 2's cancel, we get an x, and we can't do anything with that half. All right, this one, I'm going to see that it's going to be 1 over this into that, 1 over this into that. So it's going to come out like that. I'm just skipping this sort of step for it, right? Right? So it's distributing this. And what does this come out with? Well, let's just do the full story for your exponents. If you did it quicker, great. And this has got how many x's? It's 5x's multiplied together, 2 y's, and at the bottom 2 x's and a y. All right, let's go for cancelling. Those two with that, that with that, and um, so that just leaves us with an x. And then over here, uh, 2 x's with 2 x's, one of the y's with one of those y's, and so I'm left with a 3. I've got x cubed and I've got a y. 